We're with Rich Baseball Operations President Mike Butchkowski, the longtime former Bison's general manager who was getting inducted Saturday night into the Buffalo Baseball Hall of Fame here at Salem Field. And Mike, uh, the one thing I think back to your career is an incredible list of players and managers for this franchise over time. What's it just been like building those relationships over the years and then maintaining them as players move on? Yeah, and that's been one of the most rewarding things about, you know, about my time here. I think I counted the other day, I worked with 17 different managers and many of them, are, you know, I've remained friends with them and kept in touch with them. The players that we've watched start here, go up and have, you know, great careers that are now even retired. and. Uh, a lot of them have reached out to me in the last uh, couple of weeks since the announcement's made, and uh, it's very gratifying to hear from everybody. You were the general manager for three championship teams, but over 2,000 games in this ballpark, and only one time have you won a championship. It happened in 2004. You're coming up on the 20th anniversary. What do you remember about that night against the Richmond Braves? You know, I remember the, the strange situation with the hurricane that it struck, and all the games were going to be played here. And I just remember just having a confidence that it was going to happen, that it was going to happen at home. And, and even at the start of the game, you know, you're usually so nervous around these playoff games. I just felt a calm like it was going to happen. And... Uh, I remember walking with Marty Brown around the ballpark with the trophy. You know, he had the trophy after Randy Mobley gave it to him and he was letting the fans touch it. And I remember walking with him and just looking at fans that were just so excited to, to be a part of it and to win it at home, which we hadn't done, was uh, one of the highlights of, of my time for sure. And people should note that Mike has the old American Association trophy here in his office from the 1997 team. They never gave it back. They got to keep it. Uh, one more thing for you, Mike. Uh, Brandon Phillips is going into the Hall of Fame with you this weekend. Star infielder 2002 to 2005, a key member of that 2004 team. Just what do you remember about his impact on this franchise and then that 04 team especially? Yeah, especially the 04 team. And I, everybody points to the play he made, the defensive play he made. We're down two games to none in a best of five. We lost both games in Durham, coming to Buffalo, having to sweep them. I think Durham had won it two years in a row. They're looking for their third straight. And he makes a defensive play that I still marvel at to cut down a runner at home, to keep the game close. And I've never seen a, a defensive play spark a team like that. I mean, it sparked us for the next three days. Won that game, won the next two, won the championship. And Brandon was just a fun guy to be around. He loved playing baseball, he enjoyed it. You could, it was obvious when you watched him on the field. He was always smiling and, and having fun. And you know, was a great talent, turned out to be an all-star and a, and a gold golf glove player so uh I'm, it's great that we've recognized brandon to be in the hall of fame that's rich baseball president mike butchkowski from the halls of bishop timon and canisius college to the buffalo baseball hall of fame thanks mike thanks mike